kind of look around, see what's up. Another drop off. Imminent. Officer Keen's life pod is nearby in one of the craters. Seven hundred and eighty. We need to stay away from this. They warp me out of my ship. Hey, there's stuff down there. An electrical issue as well. Hmm. Well, now. on you anyway. Alright, let's fill up real fast. I'm not dealing with Chucklehead anymore. I 
think he died. I don't know. Oh, we're only at 150 with the submersible. Let's go down south. Check what's underneath me and then we'll look at that. A big piece of ship, yep, but it's not a life pod. Nothing in there. Thermal plant fragment. Kind of a membrane tree. It has more than one coral species working in tandem to create an insulated microcosm inside its little bubble. Huh. Alright, here's some more stuff. The scanner room fragment out here. Oh, jeez. Thermal plant fragments. Scanner room fragments. Cyclops depth module MK1 increased save diving depth. Does not stack. <laughs> so it actually tells you if something doesn't stack. That's good to know. Hey, the drill arm fragment. I need these. Please tell me there are more. One more. We need to find one more of those and we'll have it. That looks weird. What is this? Scanner room fragment. Alright, yeah, maybe you'll be inside this. I hate when they warp and I waste a bullet. A supposed bullet. Okay. Ah, uh, 
this is it right here. Sealed door. Laser cutter time. Ah, no more tea. Please don't just take me to the outside. Another door to cut open? Hey, hey. Grappling arm fragment, okay. Apparently we already had that. Oh, we're out of battery. Good thing I brought another battery. Wait a minute. Okay, what's that? say. Alright, what's gonna be in here? Gotta keep an eye on my oxygen. Potion cannon. We must have already had that. Nothing else to scan. Alright, back up through this one. Oh, I'm coming back out. Okay, I'm getting confused. What's up through here? Where we already were? ways out. So, one sealed door, and this, aha, Cyclops Docking Bay, Grappling Arm Fragment, a supply crate with a food brick. Sure, I'll take that. I can't even make those myself. Dead end. Okay. This looks like it'd be a box of some sort, but it doesn't do anything. 30 seconds. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Still need to get the other drill fragment, which is hopefully somewhere around in this, but I think we've already exhausted the inside of the craft. Oh, maybe this is it. Yes, right here, underneath this thing. Good, so now we can mine those um, big notes after we make that stuff. Alright. They burst, releasing spores which cast the current dispersed around the local area. Huh. Gas filled membrane. I think we're done at this site, but we'll keep going to looking for Life Pod 7.
we are down to one water canister. We're probably going back to the base soon, but not yet. I'm not ready to abandon the search for Life Pod 7 just yet. Alright, so let's see. Let's get bearings. So we're about a thousand out from uh, where my pod and stalker thing is, so just gotta stay right around the 200 depth. And we'll keep this on our left side. Where'd it go? That stuff stays to my left. Probably need to come left and actually go in just a little bit because if that's 900, the ship's further than the beacon is. sharks. So we're at a hundred now. So let's just head out just a little bit. Everything is there. Six hundred. So this would be a 200 area, and we are 920 for my stalker beacon, which is by the end of the ship. Oh no! I think we're near a reaper. Oh wow, that shark is eating him, that's interesting. I'm directly south of it now. This is true. I am directly south of it. Man, we have combed, like, so much ground. This is ridiculous, trying to find this thing. Pretty interesting that things are fighting each other, though. It's like Discovery Channel. Ecological activity, one kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern section, which is just the back. So if I look at it, I should be seeing northeast. So we'll just go this way. We need to find that dead zone again and go blink around in there some. I need to make sure I don't go back to 200. sharks. Jump scary knocked over your tea. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Yep, that's fine. All right, so yeah, all this stuff, we're exactly 1,000 meters away from the beacon, but we are still, let's see if we're slightly, yeah, we're still south, southwest. We'll just keep going this way and spin around. And we were already in that, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll just keep going. I don't know if this will be classified as an ecological dead zone, though. We have these weird ball things. There's a thermal vent. This is a sparse reef. Northeast. Hey, we're southwest. So we just need to go out probably just a little bit from here in this direction. Southwest. might have been here already where are we at in relation to the thing 1000 now and it's almost exactly freaking damn it man where is this thing when we find it it's gonna be like we must have ran over it like a million times close it and come in a little bit more. One person said it was in a crater. The last thing I have is crew reported pronto onboard fabricator sunk to 200 meters 1,000 kilometers southwest of the stern section. This is the only thing I have on life pod 7. Looking at the picture, tall spikes. I don't remember where the tall spikes are. And it's nighttime now. <laughs> Probably still need to close the distance though a little bit. Because the stalker's beacon is 990. Tall spikes. I 
and the picture shows the spikes in the background. So I'm telling you, man, it's gotta be like right in here somewhere. That's not a pot, it's too big to be a pot. And there's a number on it. Southwest, 1,038 meters. It's too far away, it's not exactly a thousand. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Really? My least favorite thing about this game is this. Don't tell me when I'm already crushed. Try to crack down some fish and eat a bunch of food so I can stay here. And I can do this while I wait for it to become daytime. Oh, I just picked up the beaver. That's hilarious. I need to cook it. No! Oh. <laughs> this guy is trying to live. There we go. Wow, 44 food. I mainly just eat these guys from the water though, because that's the problem. And they only give me like four water to go. I actually want to keep that guy. I don't know what he is. Reginald. Oh wait, not blueprints. that highlight what he is. Yeah, there's a lot of fish here, which is pretty cool. So I don't mind just staying here trying to eat these guys. I'm gonna put that Reginald in my tank, though. He's coming home with me. Edible prey fish, high calorie count. Might be better than having these peepers on me. fish.
30 seconds. My time is so long. Welcome aboard, Captain. Nest of Naminami. So the tall spikes were over there. I can barely make them out. We're getting some visibility back. Spikes are here. Where the diagonal ones are. Have we even seen diagonal ones? I don't think we've seen them, but I don't know. Where's the stuff? It's almost like needle in a haystack, man. Screw me if I ever get lost at sea. Thank you, computer, for being completely worthless. Hull damage is intimate. Mm -hmm. New plan. Stay in the 170s. Warp buddies down there. See him. Hey. Hey, what is that? That looks like it could be. A life pod, right? Or is that just a piece of something? Oh, it needs to be bigger. Coming daytime. Are these guys diagonal? They look more diagonal. 
but they don't look as spiky. How far out am I? 901 meters. Seek fluid intake. Oh shit. Right, here's my last water. Vital signs stabilizing. Just this guy. Since it's all slopes, we'll go out a little bit. Try to keep all that right there. Hey, this is more the uh, look. It's got this, the like lines and stuff. Striations. We want to sound fancy. out but I'm not at 200 meters so this is definitely not the right spot 1,000 meters here but that beacons further closer to me than it is uh, the ship side Seventeen minutes ago, sure. Haven't found anything in seventeen minutes anyway. Emergency power only. Oxygen okay, we're gonna let you go at three percent. Let me. What am I gonna do? Hop out and start repairing it right then and there? That's a dumb. I mean, we have gas torpedoes coming up in the future. Probably just shoot it with torpedoes. Yeah, 
Yes, we need totally satisfying explosion graphics. Press F8 to give feedback. Reaper Leviathan suck. KK, thanks. Bye. Reaper Leviathans are only in here because to stop people from going, oh, there isn't anything that's challenging in here. Because really, that's like the only thing that would just like outright kick your ass. I think I need more of a charge on this guy than uh, the prawn suit does right now. Prawns are already probably 100%. Welcome aboard, Captain. I want to open storage. I want to get in here. No, no storage. That piss me off in this game. This moon bay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Something for you, hot shot. Stay away from my base. Freaking jerk. No new radio transmission. Welcome can't find. Can't find Life Pod Seven yet. Ridiculous. But hey, I have a lot of of that. Okay. Um, Non-functional lab equipment. We will decorate at some point. What's this one? Oops, not that. Microphone. Microphone. Microscope. Shove that in there. We got some more special food. I always need. I always have this in here as a backup, but it's like I hardly ever need to use it. Especially now since I got the knife. I wonder if I should stop carrying it. Although that might be a bad idea. Uh, let's see, anything else we need to put away? Dead batteries, probably. One bad, one dead battery. Where's my battery set? Ah, they're in here. All right, one dead battery. And do we have a good battery? 19, 8, 1, 0. This is why we need to we need to make the battery Safe charge thing. Intake. Yes, let's let's fix my fluid issue. Vital signs stabilizing. We can make the charger now. That's right. All right. Let's see what that's gonna take. 
Oh, and the small sample thing here. Small sample flask. I need to put that in the locker too. Decorate with those later. Okay, habitat thing, majigger. Habitat tool. Interior modules is my guess. Battery charger. Here we go. Modification station. We have a lot to build right now. It's gonna be great. All right. Um, let's do the battery charger. Wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. Oh, hey, look at that. I just had that stray piece of titanium I put in here. Or one of these places. I swear, I don't know what is with me here lately. Like, I can't remember my suffering from CRS. Can't remember shit. CRS syndrome. I just looked at this damn blueprint. Wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. Wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. All right, wiring kit is two, sil oh, two silver. Wiring kit, copper, and titanium. Copper and a titanium. This is all my titanium, but I think we put one piece over here. Yes, and hello, we already got a copper wire made. All right, so can we make the battery charger now? Oh, I need to make the wiring kit. Okay. Uh, wiring kit. Where's my cane, brah? Exactly. What's in here? Reinforced dive suit? Oh, yeah, I need to do that. Enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. Maybe I won't get nommed on as hard. It actually uses diamonds in it. Holy crap. Compass, rebreather, pipe. Fire extinguisher. Looks like everything else in here is still very much the same. I don't know how to do synthetic fibers yet. Maybe we'll find that out in a moment. And the tools. Deployable lighting. I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. Alright, anyway. Battery charger. Put this joker as close to the fabrication station as I can so I can try to get a couple of things mounted on the wall. Cool. Alright. How many batteries can you... Four batteries. Hey, that looks cool. I have lots of dead batteries. Was this my box for batteries? No. One of these is. <laughs> I will learn where my new stuff is eventually. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All various charges. Perfect. So my base power is at 668 right now. Wait a minute, I can't just like right click and throw it over there? You seriously, everything else you can just toss over easily? I guess I really want to make sure that you want to put the right battery in there. Whoa, that is fancy labeling there. I like that, that's cool. You will definitely know when your batteries are done. That's dope. I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That's nice. All right, and then I need the power cell charger, which uh, I don't have rubies on me at the moment. I don't remember where I got rubies at either. Where did I get rubies? I think they were on the side of the wall somewhere in some canyons in the ocean. And then we need to make the... Um, where is it? Do I not have it on this page? I want to make the modification place. Where is that? Modification station. Water filtration, ladder, containment, bioreactor, nuclear reactor. Vehicle upgrade console. Build it in the moon pool to upgrade dock vehicles. We'll probably need to do that. Uh, three titanium, a computer chip, and some copper wire. Okay. Interior modules. I think I was just looking. Yeah, I was looking at this. Fabricated power cell charger. Modification station. Alright, definitely want this. Computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. 
diamond lead, titanium, and computer chip. What's it take to make a computer chip? Electronics. Computer chip. Gold, copper wire, table coral sample. Table coral sample. Table coral samples. One, two. Uh. I don't know why I have these eggs in there. I have to move them. And okay. Something needed two diamonds there. I was about to make. I think but we'll hold off on that. Copper. Probably make copper wiring. All right. Hold on here. Modification station. Let's just put it up here. Whoa, all right, obviously you are, oh, you're a, you're a ground thing. Oh, if clipping was possible, that would be so dope right there. Why the hell not? Titanium, diamond, and lead. Oh, okay. Titanium, diamond, lead. Is it two? Oh, just one. Diamond, lead, and computer chip. Alright, diamond, lead. And then, what was it for a computer chip again? Computer chip. I need copper wire. Okay, cool. There we go. And then computer chip. Now I need gold. Okay. <laughs> computer chip. was that? We have a modification station. Air tank upgrade. Yes, please. I want the ultra high capacity tank. I need four lithium for that. We have the lithium. Okay, yeah, that was this one. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And my high capacity tank is right Ultra high capacity tank. Yes. Yeah, give me that. Did it automatically put it on me? We now have three minutes of oxygen. <laughs> Look at my oxygen meter with a 225. Save. It's monumental. All right, what else we got in here? Fin upgrades, ultra glide fins. So I don't know if um, my wirelessly charging fins are better than the ultra glide fins because maybe the ultra glide fins turn into the wireless charging fins propulsion cannon upgrades appliance percussive force cyclops upgrades depth modules sea moth upgrades depth modules does not stack so this makes the two and the three and the exosuit upgrades, prawn suit depth module, enhances diving depth to maximum, does not stack. To maximum? Does that sound like you can make the prawn go anywhere? To maximum? Or is that just like the maximum of the suit itself? Thermal blade, we already got the, uh, we already got the cool thing. All right, um, we got the air tank upgrade. Let's see. Momo, can you do a quick Google and see if my fins are better than the Ultra Glide fins? I'm wearing the... And this way I don't know about any secrets. So don't tell me any secrets, just let me know yes or no. I have the Swim Charge fins right now. I got them out of a uh, capsule. So, see maybe if the Swim Charge fins are made with the, the other fins. So let me get the name of this again. Fin upgrades, it's Ultra Glide fins. So Ultra Glide fins versus... The swim charge fins. 
thank you very much. I appreciate it. Wow, my batteries are charging pretty good. They're almost full. Let's, um, let me get another set of bamboo going here. I, I don't know why I call this bamboo. Bobo tree. Maybe just because it starts with a B. Okay, what else do we need to make? Um, how do I make the cool new... Um, so this Seamoth Depth... It takes Seamoth Depth Module 1. That's hilarious. You have to use the 1 to make the 2. But I don't know how to make the 1, right? Does the Fabricator make the 1? Oh, the reinforced dive suit. How do I make synthetic fibers? Let's see if it's listed in my uh, data bank. Reinforced dive suit. Synthetic fibers. Shock absorption reduces physical impact by 50%. Temperatures up to 70. You are not invulnerable while wearing this suit. Reduces incoming physical and thermal damage. That's actually pretty cool. Are you going to tell me how I make... I want to know how to make, let's look at the blueprints here, I want to know how to make synthetic fibers, do you tell me yet? Now these reactor rods are going to be the nuclear thing, so I need one more uranite crystal and then I can have a um, reactor rod, I look forward to that. Um, cooked food, no, cured food, no, equipment, no, tools, Wow, I'm still missing the blueprint for the stasis rifle. It's kind of interesting. We got the machines. The mobile vehicle bay. Oh, maybe I have to do the moon bay upgrade console, and then it will give me the option to make the regular... Um... Maybe that's it. Maybe we need to do that. And then I'll get the first generation C vehicle upgrade. Seamoth depth module. But nothing gives me the option to make it, so it's probably the upgrade thing uh, for the moon bay which that was in my that was in here on my habitat builder and that was the interior module right it was in here uh, power cell query mod station interior P oh, here it is vehicle upgrade console so let's make this I need copper wire, computer chip, and three titanium. All right, let's get some more titanium out. Probably need more copper for copper wire and the chip. Do I have more copper? Two more coppers. Was it gold for the chip as well? We're about to find out. Electronics to make a computer chip. Gold, copper wire. Okay, so there's copper wire. And I need table coral samples again. Table coral. Man, I love the fact that I got so much just in a locker ready to go. That's so nice. Alright, time to make the computer chip. Alright, and double check. This needs... Okay, so I need a copper wire. Oh no, we might be out of copper. We may have just exhausted our copper supply. Do I still? Oh, let's see. So the Ultra gives 300% speed boost to no fins. All right. Oh, we might have to go find copper, which one that's not too bad. That comes out of a limestone. A limestone dealio. Okay. Yeah, because here's the fins. The 
charging only had 1% charge per 10 meter swim at any speed over 2 meters a second. But the charging thing has actually been kind of nice. No boost. Oh, so it depends on what I want to value more. I could go for speed or I could go for utility. I get it. And here's my quartz. I remember I started putting quartz over there. I'm never going to find my quartz. <laughs> All right, so we're going to need to run out and get some sand, not sandstone, limestone. I wonder if I could track limestone. But if I have heavy equips, you can't charge. Copper ore. Isn't that, that's what I need. That's hilarious, you can just directly look for copper. I don't even have to worry about limestone chunks. I can just go right to looking for, and you can track sandstone. This is actually pretty nice. This helps take out a lot of the um, time to farm basic stuff. Climb down. Climb down again. guys multiply like crazy in here so I might as well take advantage of having to multiply some more while we're doing stuff shove them in here I gotta check my uh, water box not too bad I wonder if I could try that water filtration thing out my bioreactor would be good enough. Because having canisters that could do plus 50 water, from what dude was saying, would be great. So I go through the 20 waters pretty quick. That'd be two and a half. 50 is worth two and a half. Okay, let's go get some uh, copper. We should be tracking that on my HUD. Yep, copper ore. Wow, it doesn't seem like there's a ton of them. Unless it's tracking, like, the big nodes. I guess we'll find out what it's tracking. There is no way to go down right here. Okay, how do we get there? Oh, hey, look. Catching out of his thing. He's gonna come after me. Wow, am I following a different one? No, wow, what the hell? Alright, let's just go get this one. Well, I guess I know my scan range, then I'll know that I don't have to go too terribly far. I'm like, man, how far out is this thing? We should also make the prawn resource arm too, so I can get the big nodes.
Oh, where'd the thing go for copper? Creature egg, another one. <laughs> Took that out of the face, ran into a dead end, or swam into a dead end. There's some cords, and grab that. gonna work. It was worth a try. <laughs> oh my goodness. That one copper thing on my HUD right now is so elusive. Like I don't even I don't even know what cave system that is in. Is that the table one or the coral two? Coral two. I need the other one. too much. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I think I just needed one copper, but geez. My base flooding again, you chucklehead. <gasps> so in stasis, his gas thing just killed me. I think that's my sign to go to bed. Or, to stop playing, I should say. Uh, what did I lose? I think you keep your tools when you die. I think it just takes away resources when you, when you kick the bucket. That's worth a Google. Subnautica penalty death. For Subnautica penalty death. When you enter a pod or a base, it saves your inventory. When you exit the base and die outside of it, you will respawn at that base with the saved inventory minus whatever you used before dying. That's not too bad. I just lost what I gathered. My copper and stuff. It will just save my game. Alright. I'm gonna call it an evening for the stream. I'll be on tomorrow for 
more subnautica fun. Maybe we can find life pod number seven. And uh, I might just make a couple of things off stream to supplement, like getting the new swimsuit, since I don't really need radiation suit on me anymore. And uh, a couple of things. So, and maybe I'll have my captain's quarters done. I don't know. We'll see. Although I probably will end up doing that on stream. I'll take this off scanning mode. And, uh, oh, you know what? Well, no, I need to have copper for that. Ha <laughs> That's great. So, yeah, um, we'll just see. If I have anything that gets improved, I'll, uh, be sure to give you guys a rundown. I might do the, I might do the thing in the moon bay, since that's just me eating a piece of copper. Um, but yeah. Perfect. 100, 100, 100. Alright, good night. See you guys later. Those of you that came by and participated, appreciate it. Those that came by and lurked, appreciate your support still too. I will see you guys all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. That's a good time zone for those in the United States. Central is the best. And if you're outside the United States, GMT minus 6. So 7 p.m. GMT minus 6. See you guys later. Have a very nice evening. And uh, yeah, be on tomorrow. Cheers.